Hello and welcome to FT Trading Room. Europe has become increasingly used to the idea of settling securities in two days, but already moves are underfoot to maybe even shorten that to a single day. To explain how is Laura Kraft, Head of Strategy for Securities at Triana. Laura, welcome. Thank you. So these moves to maybe uh, squash the market down to a single day settlement, whereabouts in the market are we talking about here? We're looking at OTC equities right. and today traditionally they've been settled on a bilateral basis and what we're looking to do and have done successfully for the past year is move those trades into a cleared environment so they get netted down with any on exchange traffic. So in essence bilateral trades become uh, like look like an exchange traded. But mo equity. most of this market can actually be, be cleared centrally can it? There's a huge amount of eligible securities that can be cleared centrally um, across Europe and the interoperable facility within the European clearing houses makes that possible. Uh -huh. So how would these, these OTC trades uh, normally be settled? Typically they're settled on a bilateral basis in a T plus two um, cycle mm -hmm. as was moved to last October. By clearing trades on trade date um, we definitely came up with an issue where the netting cycle at the clearing houses was at 5.30 um, UK time right. and typically the OTC market um, is dealing with client trades who allocate at the end of the day, end of day being more like 5.30, 6 o'clock, we're seeing trades coming in and being matched uh, after 6 p.m. So that was causing issues and the ability right. to actually clear trades on so, trade so date. The, so there was a kind of a, a, a cut-off point and the, the, the business was coming in maybe just e a little bit later. Exactly, and if you can't get trades in right. a clearing house on trade date, then you can move to a, a T plus one, and most clearing houses operate on a T zero basis. So, so what uh, you, have you done at Triana? So we worked very hard with the CCPs and their respective regulators um, over the past um, year to 18 months to work on pushing out the netting cycle time from a 5.30 cutoff mm. to now 6.30. We initially moved to 6 p.m. when we launched the service last October. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased to say in August of this year, owing to the success of the service and showing that um, there was no additional risk in the market, um, we managed to move to a 6.30 p.m. cutoff time, which means more trades can actually be part of that whole netting cycle. So, so when you started at, at maybe the, the six o'clock uh, cutoff time, what were you seeing? And what, what happened when you, you then extended it to 6.30? So up to 6 p.m., around 75% of traffic was being cleared successfully um, on trade date. Mm -hmm. um, the extra 30 minutes caused a jump um, to about 95% of trades now actually being cleared oh. by 6.30. So it's a, it's a significant jump, which is not only the number of trades being cleared, but the associated cost savings uh -huh. that come with clearing trades and, and netting everything down as opposed to having individual settlement costs. This is, this is cost savings of uh, the collateral and the margin that has to be paid. Absolutely. So margin payments, it's from physical delivery, it's balance sheet management, there's a host of settlement cost savings a whole host of savings the banks can now make mm -hmm. by having everything cleared and netted down. So could you could you actually push that time out even further? I mean, could you go up to you know, seven, eight o'clock in the evening, for example? There is limitations on the time that each um, CSD or depository will actually need to sort of close their books to run their um, last you know, books and records and have physical delivery. And each CSD is slightly different. Some as, as early as seven, some mm -hmm. as nine p.m. So I think there would be an the limit to how much further right. you're going to be able to push that. But I suppose when you've got 90-something percent already in the market, that's, that's pretty good. It's a good pretty anyway. good way, exactly. So, so perhaps, in, certainly in this part of the market, we're, we're looking at, at uh, um, same-day settlement. Are we, are we there then? I think it's a very much a possibility. The tools are now available to ensure that. There's obviously other parameters around moving FX around and, and, and other areas, but from an efficiency perspective and um, from a technology perspective, there's no reason why trades aren't, can't be matched, cleared, settled, um, you know, certainly on, on, if not trade dates, certainly by T plus one. The tools are definitely in the market to do that. Laura, thank you very much. Thank you very much.